I'm Troy Hazard. I'm an alien with extraordinary ability. Really? So really, yes. so that's so it. That's exactly the, that's the title on my visa. Alien with extraordinary ability. Wow. <laughs> so there you go. Who approves that? Try to have a go at me now. Who did, come on, come on. Who did you pedal that to? <laughs> that's what I'd like to know. Is it such a bad deal how it works down there? No, not at all, not at all. I mean, but but having said that, we've got we've got healthcare in place and a few things like that that I think are very helpful. Mm -hmm. But we've also got a stupid government just like everybody else. You know, <laughs> you know? Yeah. seriously, they, they've made some pretty bad mistakes. They 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 were cruising along reasonably well after two thousand and eight, and in the last couple of yeah. years, they've just made some dumb mistakes that have also cost the Australian economy quite heavily. Now here's the deal: that's twenty two thousand households that actually paid fifteen percent of their income in income tax. So that's the, that's the warrant, that's a, the Buffett rule, right? There are 114 million households in the United States and we're focusing on 22,000 households that pay 15% and we're saying, well, these guys should be paying 30%. Now, I get that. Okay, so we don't know their circumstances. That might be their tax on investments differently to what their tax on their income and the like. And we're probably never going to know the real answer to that. But what I'm suggesting here is that we're focused on the wrong problem. If you don't know the difference between Miracle Whip and, uh, and Vegemite... Miracle Whip just sounds a bit kinky to me. I don't know. <laughs> Stop. Have some Miracle Whip on me. Cool. All right. But Matt, this is just typical of an election, isn't it? Really, everyone slows down for a couple of weeks coming in. They sit on their hands. They come out. Nothing much happens till January. Then all of a sudden, the new guy gets in, whoever it might be, and then we get back on track again. Is that not the same every time? Uh, well, uh, that's a tendency for to have in, in the first year, especially if you get a new administration. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hence the pink iPad cover. <laughs> That's it. What happened to you? Oh, no. It's my daughter's. I've got daughters. I don't have a pink uh, iPad cover. Well, mine's broken. Give me real quick uh, your take on, on President Obama and, 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 and Mitt Romney. Mm -hmm. um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So the good, from Obama's perspective, he, he got a hold of middle America, yeah. grabbed it, ran with it, and convinced them that he was going to make life better for them by stealing from the wealthy and making it, <laughs> making it better for them. At the end of the year, if you push the button to create a profit and loss, it does that for you already, right, Michael? So they're easy uh, to use. Absolutely, but Tim Geithner, I think, would take issue with that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he would. But hey, Michael, Michaels, that's where people get caught, really. I mean, I had a meeting on uh, on Saturday with my international tax guy, and he's going to talk to my local guys, and we're trying to get ahead of it. And it's all about budgeting more than anything else. It's about knowing what the number's going to be come April and preparing okay. for it now. That, that, that's where people trip themselves up, isn't it? Exactly. It's it's doing a uh, a forecast or a budget, as you say, Troy. That's that's the way. it's being organized. What's another fast food place down there like? Well, we got like, all like the McWallaby or something like that. Oh. <laughs> or what do I have like the the Dingo? <laughs> Come on down to Dingos. Is there any sort of cool name that we wouldn't have heard of, or are they all the same down there? Let's go to the Dinga Q. <clears throat> all right, just I ask it. I got nothing. All right, I'm just checking. Four years. Four years, nothing's changed. Listen, man, you barely sell it. You sell it, you stepped off the boat yesterday still. <laughs> yeah, do you think that the, 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 re, the, the real estate investment trust, the REIT type space, is also replaced some of the retail guys? Or the ETFs, the exchange traded yeah, funds. Right. You know, yeah. between those two, it kind of has taken the place of the individual stocks, hasn't it, man? Uh, very much so. I think everyone's really comfortable with debt. And having more. And so the conversation is not about cutting spending or no. doing less or, or not going out to do it three times a week. It's about how can I refinance the house? How can I refinance my, my debt to make it easier for me to pay it back? It's just, I think that the attitude's all wrong. Well, I believe so too. I don't think he clearly connected and, and under, had, had middle America believe that turning around the country meant more jobs for them. He missed the connection between driving small business and creating more jobs. They're still going, yeah, what? What? Small business guy's going to work? I How's agree with you. Fixed you know, I, I agree with you. Did you didn't sleep last night at all? I did, but, but I woke just, up this morning feeling good. With You're the, just grumpy today. What's that well, all about? Because I just think that the end is near and we're all going to die. <laughs> That's all. It's I logged in last night because I had to upgrade some stuff on my computer with... Uh, I, whatever it is now, with Apple. That's how smart I am. And I, I, I <laughs> lost the password, so I had to reset the password. They had the wrong email address, so I had to reset the email address and the password. It drove me nuts for about an hour and a half, Steve. That's got to be the same thing with so many people. They just go, you know what? I'm just going to make it ABC123 because it's just easy to remember. Well, the, uh, you know, unfortunately, it's easy to remember for the, uh, the scammers. Oh, well, we made it through the hour. I didn't break any furniture. I wonder, do I, is there any of those little you know, big biz fluffy towels I get for doing this? Or, you know, a cap or a T-shirt or something?